So I am Liliana Sopardi. I am the head of the department of the pharmacy school in, in Malta within the faculty of medicine and surgery. And my area is specifically clinical pharmacy, which is the direct area for this new program that we are launching as a postgraduate program for those pharmacists who would like to develop further advanced skills in clinical pharmacy, whilst at the same time taking up a research perspective. So the, the, the program, the PharmD, uh, is a professional doctorate, which will lead to uh, what, uh, what is referred to as a level 8 academic degree. And uh, in the program, I am a coordinate, the, coordinate, the academic coordinator, linking up with a big number of colleagues who will be participating in delivering the program from our end, together with the colleagues from the College of Pharmacy at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Uh, the applicant uh, has to be a pharmacist uh, who is keen to develop uh, what, what, what is referred to as the clinical aspect, but in the very broad sense of the term. So sometimes people think of the clinical pharmacy only related to the bedside in the hospital. What we're looking at is those pharmacists who would like to develop uh, the clinical skills to be applied in a variety of settings, uh, including, per, for example, clinical trials to look at innovative drugs. So uh, the Knights Hospitalers had a, one of the main areas for, for the Knights was that they were hospitalers. So they ran a, a number of hospitals in Malta and when Valletta was built, they, they des designed a, a very large hospital which catered both for the Knights and the, 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 the allied people, as well as also for the not so um, well-featured people. And uh, this, this hospital, which is still, uh, the construction is still available today, it's a conference center. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a place which is worth a visit because it, 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 at the time it had one of the longest hospital wards which was unsupported, so you can still see this place today. We, it's, it's one of the earliest examples of what we define today as clinical pharmacy in, in Europe. And, and the place is still available for one to visit. So it's, it's a good connection also with why, I think, uh, which it's a good connection why the pharmacy school in Malta maybe kept developing quite in an advanced way, clinical pharmacy, practice and research. So there's a connection as well. The, the first year is also will help you to explore your, your inner uh, attitude to pharmacy because it's very broad-ranging. It's advanced, but very broad-ranging. So you're not going to narrow in immediately.